Howdy folks. Uh, whew, it's been a day. So uh, just quickly here I grabbed from the top and just opened it up. I'm going to read what I saw. It's got no relevance or any sort of special import. It's just the page that fell open. It's a piece called No Limits. Wrote it quite a while back. I woke up early this morning and moved the chickens to fresh grass, then drove to town and found myself caught in a traffic jam, which is to say there were three cars between me and the stop sign. This put me in a reflective mood, which was handy because the vehicle ahead of me was fitted with a plastic license plate holder declaring, There are no limits. I immediately started tallying up evidence to the contrary. First, foremost, and most problematic, there is a limit to my ability to believe there are no limits. This arises out of certain morose Scandinavian tendencies, festering curmudgeonry, frank peevishness, and a disappointing attempt at the high hurdles in 1982. Also, I was short on sleep, and only 12 hours previous had been reviewing our auto insurance, both factors inimical to accepting the concept of there being no limits, even if it says so right there in the back of your RAV4 in all capital letters. The last thing I want to do first thing in the morning is impugn the makers of motivational license plate holders, but there are limits. There are limits to how I'm going to get anywhere stuck behind you at this stop sign. There are limits to my ability to do quadratic equations or choose correctly between who and whom. There are limits to how much ranch dressing you can get out of the bottle even after you leave it propped upside down for a week. Getting more personally specific, my ability to grow hair on the topmost portion of my head is irrefutably limited, as is my ability to start a chainsaw on the first try without flooding it, to untangle fishing line without yanking on it, or to perform a grand jante without a scissors lift and better health insurance. There is a scar above my left eyebrow that says my ability to levitate above concrete is fundamentally limited. Just up the road from here sits a banker with a calculator that proves my credit line is unequivocally limited. My ability to impress my wife is limited, although within reasonable bounds, and she does give me do-overs. There are limits to how much coffee you can drink before your eyelids quiver like hummingbird wings. There are limits to the number of cheese curds you can eat during a Packers game, although you'd be surprised. My patience is limited, especially with myself, especially when I do the same dumb things over and over again and again. In fact, in that context, I could do with way more limits. And under the category of modern heartbreak, there are limits to unlimited internet. Just to prove I'm open-minded, I will entertain the idea that there are no limits to how long you can be put on hold while figuring out the limits to your unlimited internet how far you can go without directions, or how deeply you can love a child. The person who screwed the license plate holder to that car would say I've clearly and obstinately missed the point. And fair enough. What you have here is a person offering encouragement, or even better, exhortation. On any given Thursday morning, we could all use a little exhortation. And maybe there was more to the message. There are no limits was printed across the top half of the plate holder, but the bottom half had snapped off, meaning I couldn't read the rest. I found this limiting. All right. Rest well, folks. Um, yeah. Unless you're looking at this in the morning. I guess you can rest whenever you want. See you later. Forward.